In this lecture, I will discuss about building structural system. Before starting building system or structural system in a buildings, here in a building, a building is an assembly of various systems. Okay, not only structural system. Uh, for example, first of all, basic functional system that is protection, safety, heat and light. Uh, that, that are the basic functions of the building. Second is the structural system, that's uh, the supporting system or the load carrying system of the building. Third is the HVAC system, that is a heating and cooling system. Uh, third one is the plumbing and drainage system, that is also important. Uh, electrical, uh, electronic and communication like uh, lights, bulbs, etc. Security system, alarm system. Uh, other specialized system. So there are different types of systems present in the building and in this lecture we will cover only the structural system that the load carrying element of the structure. So what is structural system? Structural system are those elements of construction that are designed to form part of the building structure either to support the entire building or just a part of it okay for example if there is a one column supporting the uh, upper floor only so that is the one element which is carrying the whole load of the structure and if there is a number of columns definitely uh, there are many elements which support the structure so uh, so for example in a structural system a steel structural system uh, that supports the building lords everything on it Okay, so that is the type of a structural system. For example, if there is a uh, beam column system of a steel member that is a frame member, so definitely the frame members will support all the loads which is uh, acting on it. The primary role of building structure is, is to support and transmit the building load and forces to the ground safely. Okay, the, this is the main purpose of the structural system. Okay, uh, it takes the loads from the superstructure and transfers the load to the substructure and to the subsoil underneath. So, it is in a safe manner. Okay, the most important characteristics of the bearing structure are first one strength, stability, and cost effectiveness. Strength. For example, any member, if uh, it is a beam, column or slab element, it should have so much capacity uh, to resist the applied loads. Its, its capacity should be greater than the applied load. So definitely, the strength is the main parameter of the all the structure elements. The second one is the stability. Stability means the arrangement of elements, okay, beams, column. If, um, uh, if any person do not know the psychology or the philosophy of arranging the elements um, like beams, columns and slabs, uh, how they will arrange like where the positioning of column, where the positioning of beam. So that will disturb the stability of the structure. So again, the stability is also the important parameter. Third one is the cost effectiveness. Okay, all, all the uh, selection of structural system are again dependent upon the cost. Okay, so if uh, and our main purpose as a designer we focus on the economical uh, and the uh, that is best suitable in the strength and the stability. So cost is also the very important parameter in the structural system. Types of building structure system. Okay, there is uh, first one wall bearing system. Okay, uh, tent system, cable system, and in the skeleton structure, uh, skeleton like, for example, in the humans, in the human there is a skeleton. Okay, uh, there are a number of bones moving in one direction to another. Okay, and supporting one to another. So in the skeleton there is, for example, beams column system. Okay, that is also the type of skeleton. Uh, in the truss there is also the number of elements. In the arch there is also the backbone. That is the arch which uh, takes the load from the upward and transfer to the sides. Uh, okay, I will discuss one by one. Uh, here is the shell elements like, uh, for example, in the tents uh, or uh, bigger opening like in the, in the domes, in the old architecture or in the modern also, the domes are also uh, preferred as a good uh, aesthetic spec. So in these type of structures, shell structures are used. 
So first one is the wall bedding system. So what is a wall bedding system? Here is a building, residential building is shown. Okay, here the main elements uh, uh, which takes the load from upward from the slab and the load present on the slab like any live load, dead load, all the loads will be taken uh, by the walls and uh, then the upper walls transfer the uh, load to the lower walls and the ultimately the load will go to the soil. So that is a wall bearing system. Okay, that is uh, uh, I can be either brick walls or concrete walls depending upon the location. For the, if uh, the uh, if if your structure is present in the plain area, okay, plain area I mean uh, low seismic risk area where the earthquakes the chances of earthquake is less. So definitely you will go for the brick system. But if there is a chances or there is a high seismic risk area, then definitely you will go to the reinforced. Uh, brick masonry or you will definitely go towards the concrete walls there uh, can be a more movements okay that have more capacity so that's the uh, all about wall bearing system second one is the uh, skeleton structure system okay in the skeleton structure system uh, there are number of elements uh, after arranging they form a skeleton okay here is a uh, just the distribution of the load is shown uh, for example this is a slab slab is resting on the beams okay okay now all the beams are resting on the uh, edge beams and after uh, the load from the beams to the edge beams load transfer to the columns and the from column to the footing and ultimately to the foundation okay the beam column system or the frame system the load of the slab is transferred to the columns or the walls through the through the beam okay load from uh, slab to the column passes to the beam and then down to the foundation and then to the supporting soil beneath ultimately the load will go to the foundation here are examples okay this is a uh, example of beam column system or the frame system okay you can uh, go at more and more heights by designing the member stronger member at the bottom side lighter members on the upper side okay you can design here is again uh, the type of beam column system uh, that type of structures are mostly used in the industry where large openings are required for the movement of vehicles, uh, heavy machinery, loadings, etc. Many things. Okay, this is also the uh, form of the uh, structural system in the frames. Okay, here is the columns, beams. Okay, definitely uh, that are the composite sections. Okay, uh, where the cross section varies at different locations. Here is again beam column system. Uh, one more beauty of the steel structure system is that you can bend elements in any direction. Uh, you can design a, 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 as per your client requirements or as an art, architectural expects uh, if I design uh, or arrange the elements uh, in any direction or for the beauty of uh, the our new uh, clients customers or all types of things in the steel there is more varieties available even you can uh, in the aesthetic sense you can make trees with uh, with steel structures that is again the example of steel structure okay Now the next type is uh, uh, the truss system that is the type of a skeleton structure system. Okay, Trusses are composed of straight members connected at their ends by hinge connections to form a stable configuration. Okay, You can see uh, this is straight element, straight element, straight element, straight element. All straight elements are connected at their ends by pin connections. Okay, So that is a, uh, basically the definition of truss element. Okay, their arrangements are made in such a way that they transfer the load ultimately to the end spore. Okay, uh, because of their light, weight and high strength uh, are among the most commonly used to span long lengths in place of solid. 
for example if uh, in a building uh, there is a large spans okay so due to the large spans you have to provide the high, thicker section of slab concrete slab so by doing so or even the beam sizes will be large but uh, by using trusses you can avoid uh, that type of material uh, okay with uh, why trusses trusses are uh, the beauty uh, the beauty of the trusses are that they trans they take the load in only in the tension and the compression sense no moments okay so to take the loads in the tension and compression sense uh, because a steel is strong in tension and uh, strong in compression so we are taking the advantage in both sense okay so we can use the light structures for the long spans that is the benefit of the truss system okay these are the number of uh, different type of trusses okay so two main types of trusses uh, first one is the planar trusses second was the space trusses in the planar trusses uh, you can see just like a whiteboard or blackboard uh, 2d plane okay these are the trusses are planar trusses you can see that are 2d trusses and here are 3d trusses okay you can also see here uh, here is a stadium picture okay uh, here is uh, 3d trusses not 2d elements there are 3d space trusses so these are the two main types of the trusses okay uh, here is a load distribution okay when the loads applied the loads of uh, as a tension and compression sense some members will uh, come in the tension and the, some member will come in the compression for example the load is a uh, gravity load is applied then the top member will comes in compression the bottom members will come in tension the intermediate either in tension or compression will differ okay ultimately the load will transfer to the end spots okay here is an example of again the open uh, uh, space or the industry area nowadays there is also the uh, one more field is uh, growing that is a uh, prefabricated buildings okay in the prefabricated building they uh, they they fabricate the trusses panels all the things uh, in the factory or in the industry but after uh, making the assembly or the management uh, or after uh, bringing the components on the side they arrange the components and build the structure that is the uh, philosophy of the prefabricated buildings okay pre uh, uh, you can see from the name they are already fabricated but at, on the side they just arrange and manage the elements at their desired locations uh, as per the design engineer and then the structure uh, uh, will be uh, will be built easily here is an, an uh, another example of the truss system here is a wood truss system okay here is a again stadium picture again a, a hall okay so here is a connection type uh, showing there are multiple trusses are moving here and here so their connections are made at the points uh, either by welding or either by uh, bolts or uh, or rivets okay so they are arranged in such a way that they make the pin connections again this is an example of a space truss okay here is a 3d truss the next uh, type of structure system is the arch a arch uh, forming the curved pointed or flat upper beam upper edge of an open space and supporting the weight above it as as in a bridge or a doorway uh, this is the most historical and the most uh, used in the history that uh, the, uh, for the opening or the spanning of structures they use the arches okay even you can say in the uh, churches cathedrals okay uh, or even uh, uh, in the domes okay so they uh, or in the many or architecture uh, locations they use the arches the most uh, here uh, is the load distribution the benefit of the arch is that when the load comes on uh, on above on it then it transfer the load to the sides way okay in the sense of compression okay there is no tension when the load applied on the uh, on the arches the load transfer to the sides 
okay or to the spots in the compression sense no tension will develop but for example if the arch is made of brick so brick is strong in compression but weak in tension uh, uh, as we uh, now we know that brick is strong in compression and weak in tension so now when we use the number of bricks as a arch so now we know the only compression load will come in the bricks so that that we uh, we will get the benefit of the compression force so no tension will come also our brick structure will also work in the arches so that is the most uh, good uh, the, or the best advantage of the arch is that a structure forming the curved okay so this will cover the uh, uh, even the long spans are can uh, can also be provided so this is the uh, also the one of the type of the structural system that is the arch structural system okay here is examples okay this is an old architecture okay you can see tunnels okay here even in the new so uh, we can also provide in the present era because uh, there is the beauty function is there they take only uh, most of the part in the compression sense but uh, not or negligible in the tension sense again there are art structures okay now you uh, you are also saying there is also cables but the main element is the arch okay in the type of structures the next type of structures that are shell structures okay shell folded and domes they are light weight structures using shell elements okay first of all what are shell elements you can uh, conceive from the point that in the building system the slab elements are our shell elements okay the plate elements they are they are shell elements okay so we can use the shell elements as a long span arches okay or in a curved form okay they are lightweight structures using shell elements okay they are, we do not have a provide to uh, so much thickness we can use the light thickness allowing wide areas to be spanned without the use of internal spots giving an open and unobstructed space okay you can see a large opening there is no intermediate spots okay only spots at the end okay uh, for example if you use the steel so that will also be very good uh, use of uh, shell elements okay steel plates here is a material used for the shell elements uh, uh, shell elements can be made of such materials as reinforced thin shell concrete here you can see the uh, thin, thin shell concrete is used okay the structure is looking too good similarly steel okay here is glass composition okay uh, other material glass and steel combined can be used and plastics can be used okay because they are light here are uh, historic domes okay here is a folded uh, shell structures okay here is an also example sydney opera house that is also a type of uh, shell structure tent system uh, in the tent system or you can also see when the people go for camping okay they they use with them uh, just the steel um, members ropes and the fabric okay so that is also the example of tent system a membrane is a thin this is a fabric that is a membrane that is a thin and flex flexible surface okay you can see the traditional tent structure okay here is also uh, one bigger example of the tent system Hajj terminal Jeddah Saudi Arabia okay there are also you can see the cables only the uh, vertical elements which are supporting the uh, supporting the cables and all in the fabric is supported by cables and the uh, elements so that is a uh, tent system okay here again Jeddah sports hall Jeddah Saudi Arabia okay so here is a fabric but with, uh, with bigger openings but that is spanning uh, long so that is an, uh, an another example of shell structures here you can see again more examples of shell structures okay even uh, their aesthetics are so good and they are so cheap 
okay uh, for example if there is temporary construction uh, construction on site or there is sample uh, testing on site uh, you can use the tent system as a structure for your residence and for your even you have seen when the people go for camping on on hilly areas on different areas so they also use the tent system okay here in the front of the building tent system it provided for the shade for the sun shade okay here are the uh, arrangements of the uh, joints or the connections for the tent system okay definitely for the tent system you have to connect the cables with the spots okay you will use the high tension cables and connect the tent system to the spots cable system a cable structure is a type of structure that utilizes tension cables to support or transmit the major load of the structure okay first of all i will show the example here you can see the cable state bridge or suspension bridge they uh, in that structures uh, cables are used okay these are high tension cables they take the load for example in this suspension bridge okay you can see this is the suspension bridge okay the load from this uh, deck slab will transfer to the cables and cables take the load upward okay so because uh, and the cables are stretched stretched cables the loads from this deck slab transfer to the uh, these cables and after ultimately it will give uh, go on to main towers okay the load from the main towers transfer to the soil okay so in in this structure uh, all the uh, almost all the forces are transferred to the cables so in the uh, this is suspension bridge this is a cable straight bridge okay so there are also many examples okay you can also see around yours when you are moving or traveling to the other cities okay so a cable structure is a type of structure that utilizes tension cables to support or transmit the major loads of the structure okay so tension high tension cables are used to transfer the uh, here for example here is a uh, the shell element they uh, load all the shell uh, the whole shell is supported by the cables and the ultimately cables are attached to the sides way okay so uh, in conventional structures in conventional like beam columns concrete columns are used usually used to support the cell weight of the structure as well as downward loads but there are cases where this system is undesirable for example large parking area you want to avoid the central columns okay because the easy move moving moving of vehicles so at that point cable system are the best you can use that okay even they are cheap okay here is again cable straight bridge okay so all the forces are transferring the to the cables in the cables again the cables uh, can sustain the tension forces they do not sustain the compression because when there is compression they twist or tilt or distort okay only they take the uh, uh, tension forces okay here and here is a main tower the all the left and right side okay in that is a balanced situation okay all uh, uh, all the uh, deck elements are attached to the uh, main tower okay that is a cable straight bridge that is again cable straight bridge that is a good architecture these are the again examples of the cables okay that is looking too good okay the cables architectures and this is a combination with arch and cables cables are playing their own role and the arch is playing their own load and by com uh, combining they are giving a very good effect so that's all for the structure system have a nice day